for those of you who are taking thesis seminar, wanted to provide a recap as we get into week five. On March 1st, 2024, at 11 o'clock in the morning in our assigned classroom, we're going to have our next whole group in-person uh, meeting where we'll talk about the next unit of the course as we get into the method. We're going to talk about how to collect data, how to think about some of the instruments that we might be considering for our study. That's going to be our focus for our whole group session scheduled on Friday, March 1st at 11 o'clock in the morning in our classroom. So I'm going to keep our scheduled tutoring sessions from Monday through Thursday as normal, but for attendance purposes, you're required to attend the whole group session on Friday, and uh, the tutoring sessions will uh, not count against you if you happen to not miss, or if you happen to miss it uh, during your, one of your tutoring sessions. For those of you who have a tutoring session scheduled on Friday, uh, and want to reschedule any day through Monday or Thursday, we can certainly do that. So a couple of things to think about as we get into week five, as we get closer to completing our literature review. Please try to complete your literature review as follows. Begin at the top of your document with the title of your research. Now this is going to be after the first four or five pages where uh, we have the cover page, we have pages like Table of Contents, a separate page for the abstract, there's a separate page for tables, and so on. But there is a page where you're going to begin your literature review, and at the top it should read, or you should have a title, and then below that include the thesis statement. Now, we're not going to be working at this point on the introduction paragraph. Eventually, the thesis statement should be at the end of the introduction paragraph, but we'll work later on that. So at this point, you only need to include the thesis statement just below the title of your research. Then include the sections and in some cases subsections along with the body paragraphs that will complete your 2000 word literature review. Try to divide it into two to four main sections throughout your, uh, throughout your review. And at the end of your literature review, I'm going to ask that you include a transitional paragraph. And I have a link here that explains the transitional paragraph. But basically, the, this paragraph is going to connect the literature review, the theory, with the actual study. And this is what I would include in your transitional paragraph that concludes your literature review. Begin by restating and rewording your thesis statement. And summarize the context of the problem. So the context of the problem is going to be relevant or related to your problem statement that we worked on at the beginning of the semester. Think of the in order to and then the significance. So consider the problem that you're addressing. What's the significance of this? Try to mention the problem that later you're going to develop in greater detail in the introduction paragraph. So at this point, we should be thinking about the problem as we are concluding our literature review, the problem that most relates to our own research that we're later going to be uh, starting during week six. So after your thesis statement, restate or summarize the context of the problem. Then I would include a statement that refers to your research design, qualitative, quantitative, or mixed methods. At this point, do the best you can in terms of identifying the research design. Of course, this all can change, and it may change once we get into the method section. But try to list whether your study is going to be a qualitative, qualitative study or mixed methods. In most cases, no one is going to be doing only a quantitative study. Some of you may only be doing a qualitative study. Maybe in some cases, you'll be doing a mixed method. So again, a qualitative study or mixed methods is going to be probably the options that uh, you're going to be choosing from. And then I would list your, your research questions. Okay, this is going to be one paragraph, so try to connect those ideas and include these four aspects in this final paragraph at the end of your literature review.
Okay, on Saturday, March 2nd, at 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to download all of the Word documents from Teams and we'll consider this as your first draft. So there's nothing to upload to Microsoft Teams as an assignment. I will download the documents myself and uh, I will review the, the finished product and I'll also review the times that you've gone in and made revisions and look at your revisions that you made as well over the course of the last... Uh, five weeks. Once I have graded the first draft of your literature review, I will upload your grades to ASEMA. Grades assigned to the first draft of your literature review are provisional and will be assessed or graded again when you turn in your final draft on or before 12 noon on March 24, 2024. In completing your first draft, try to include the following or consider the following. Try to meet the word count. At least one citation in each body paragraph. Each body paragraph should begin with the main idea and an evidence sentence, and it should conclude with an analysis sentence and a linking sentence. I have a link here to the meal plan for more details. If you need to check those, uh, check that information. Each body paragraph should have five to eight sentences. Each body paragraph should begin with a topic sentence that aligns with the section heading. The section heading should align with the thesis statement, usually the key points listed at the end of the thesis statement. The research question should directly address the section headings and key points listed at the end of the thesis statement. Remember that the literature review should answer your research questions. It's basically how others would address those same research questions. This is very important so that when we start answering our own research questions, that our literature review continues to be relevant and related to what we're researching. Okay? We don't want to include anything in our literature review that is not relevant, is not related to what we're researching and how we're trying to answer our research questions. But very important to keep that in mind that the literature review also, it should address certain research questions. In our case, we are looking for possible solutions to a problem. So all of our section headings and our paragraphs and our research questions should address possible solutions to the problem that relates to our research. Basically, that's it. Um, I just wanted to share this recap with you and make sure you're reaching out if we need to look at anything. If anyone wants me to leave comments, in your uh, shared Word Online document in Teams, please mention me in the comment section. It's not required, it's not necessary to send me a separate message. If you are mentioning me as a, a comment, I get a notification. So I'm automatically uh, get a, a message that you have uh, requested uh, some feedback. Okay, so we'll go ahead and stop there. Look forward to seeing your uh, literature reviews, and uh, again, reach out to me if you have any questions.